Hi everyone, welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to learn a very simple topic of real numbers, Euclid Division Algorithm. And we have already learned the basic of real numbers, Euclid Division Lemma, and now we are going to learn what is Euclid Division Algorithm, Simple Understanding, and Examples. We have already learned Euclid Division Lemma. And as for this, A is equal to BQ plus R, where A is a dividend, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient, and R is remainder. And R greater than is equal to 0, but less than B. Euclid division algorithm is used to find the ACF of two numbers. Now, what is algorithm? Algorithm means a set of steps. And HCF is nothing but highest common factors of numbers. To make it simplified, let us consider two numbers 15 and 35. 15 can be factorized like 1 into 15 or 3 multiplied by 5. So 15 can be factorized as 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. And the same way, 35 also factorized like 1 multiplied by 35 or 5 multiplied by 7. So 35 can be written as 1 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. If we observe this 15 and 35 very closely, we can see that 5 is the highest common factor. So 5 is known as HCF. To obtain the HCF of two positive integers C and D, where definitely C greater than D, step 1 apply Euclid division lemma. Apply Euclid division lemma to C and D. So C is equal to DQ plus R, where R greater than is equal to 0 and less than D, and Q and R are unique integers. Step 2 if r not is equal to 0, apply the division lemma to d and r. And step 3, if r is equal to 0, then d is the ACF of c and d. Remember, if r not is equal to 0, then we have to continue the process to get r is equal to 0, that is remainder is equal to 0. So we'll understand it better way. C is equal to 6 boxes and D 2 boxes. Now if we divide these 6 boxes to some people so that each one will get 2 boxes, then how many person can get? So this 2 is getting one person, this 2 is getting another person, this 2 is getting another one. So there is no boxes left. So R is equal to 0. Hence, total 3 persons got the boxes. We can say Q is equal to 3. Based on the Euclid division lemma, C is equal to DQ plus R. C means 6. D, here it is 2. Multiply by Q, here it is 3. Plus R, here the value of R is equal to 0. So 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 0. This is simply Euclid division lemma. Now this is the step 1. Now steps 2. Here, since R is equal to 0, based on that Euclid division algorithm, divisor is the 2, which is equal to HCF of 6 and 2. So 2 is the HCF. Now if C value is 7 box, D remains 2 boxes. If we divide these 7 boxes to some people so that each one will get 2 boxes, then how many people will get? 1 is left over. So R is equal to 1. This is the remainder. And this 3 person is getting these boxes. So Q is equal to 3. 
Now from the Euclid division lemma we can write C that is 7 is equal to D that is 2 multiply by Q that is 3 plus R. Here R is equal to 1. So 7 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1. Step 3. Here R not is equal to 0. So as per Euclid division lemma in the next step here d is equal to 2 and r is equal to 1 so we have to apply euclid division lemma to d and r if q dash is equal to 2 then r is equal to 0 so we get 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 plus 0 now r is equal to 0 so from this euclid division algorithm 1 is the divisor which is equal to HCF. So we'll try to understand in a very simple way. HCF of the integer 455 and 42 by Euclid division algorithm. Here C is equal to 455 and D is equal to 42. Selection is based on C greater than D. As per Euclid division lemma, C is equal to DQ plus R. So we can write 455 is equal to 42q plus r. Here r greater than is equal to 0 but less than 42. So we can write 455 is equal to 42 multiplied by 10 plus 35. So r not is equal to 0 so we have to go for second step. So as per Euclid division algorithm. This 42 will be acting as dividend. This 35 will act as divisor multiplied by Q dust plus R. So 42 is equal to 35 multiplied by 1 plus 7. So here R not is equal to 0. So one more step as per Euclid division algorithm. 35 will be dividend. 7 will be divisor. So multiply by 5 plus 0. So we are getting R is equal to 0. So 7 that is the divisor is the HCF. Now we will understand Euclid division algorithm with some examples. HCF of the integer 455 and 42 by Euclid division algorithm. C is equal to DQ plus R. Now 455 is equal to 42 multiplied by 10 plus 35. Here R not is equal to 0. So this equation is giving a remainder that is 35. So next step 42 will be acting as dividend. 35 is the divisor. So 42 is equal to 35 multiplied by 1 plus 7. So R not is equal to 0. And this second step also giving some remainder that is 7. So we have to go for next step. 35 will be dividend. The 7 will be divisor. So 7 multiplied by 5 plus 0. So here R is equal to 0. So no more step. So 35 is equal to 7 multiplied by 5 plus 0. Here 7 is the divisor and it is HCF. One more example we can see. 420 and 130 by Euclid division algorithm. So C is equal to DQ plus R as 420 is equal to 130 multiplied by 3 plus 30. So R not is equal to 0. So this equation is giving a remainder with value is 30. We need a next step. 130 will be dividend. 30 is the divisor. So 30 multiplied by 4 plus 10. Here R not is equal to 0. This equation also giving a remainder 10. So next step, 30 is the dividend, 10 is the divisor, 10 multiplied by 3 plus 0. So R is equal to 0. So this equation is giving a 0 remainder. So this 10 is the divisor and it is the HCF of 420 and 130. So it's a very simple way. Do you know how to calculate HCF of 196 and 38220 
or any bigger numbers if you like study windows like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon check it out our next video thank you so much for watching our videos please subscribe our channel for latest updates